All right, I am here at the New Wave Toys booth looking at the prototype ski ball here with Peter from New Wave Toys. What's hey, going what's on? Up? How you doing? I hear you're really good at darts, by the way. I'm an ex. <laughs> I'm kidding. We played he a fun match. He beat me at darts last night. That's <laughs> why he's saying that. Uh, but no, really we're talking mean. about we're talking about ski ball. I'm sorry, but you worked on this prototype ski ball. Can you tell me about this? This is your project, right? Yeah. So this yeah. is a one six scale classic ski ball project. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's made to look like the one from Coney Island. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different styles of these, right? If you look around, you'll see a bunch of different ski balls through the years, mm -hmm. right? The company's been around since like 1917 or yeah. something. I mean, like big the history game, for this type big of history pipe. for yeah. it. Yeah. So, but this is sort of the classic arcade one. It's the one that I remember from back in the day. Mm -hmm. The one that we picked also 19, I want to say 1992 was mm -hmm. the year that they decided to put sound effects mm. in the ski ball. Yes. So this one has the original sound effects from it, which we can yeah, hear. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this this has really tripped me out. So you have the coins. These are standard coins from all the different New Wave yep. toy products. Coin slot. And listen to this. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. One more. I'm going to put the sound in. All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. Did you hear that? That was now so wait. freaking cool. That that sound right just brought me back. That's the that ski ball sound right there. So yeah. even stranger than that, and I learned this when working on this project, we asked for the sound effects from the company and they shared them with us. And there's a sound effect for the balls rolling down yes. and clanking into place. Rolling and clanking. Which yeah. if you played ski ball, you know the sound. Yep. But what I didn't understand was it's actually a recorded sound that plays when you push the button, which I find interesting to like augment the physical act of the balls coming down so you'll hear that all right here we go all right here we go we're gonna yes yes so you hear that clank there but the sound of it it's also coming. has it it's so funny are all right you, are you saying that like the real machines also had the sound effect in addition to yes. the balls okay yes. so it wasn't all physical it was not all physical i see it's, it is not all physical yeah. this company still has it out today they have yeah. a bunch of different designs good to know so all right anyway so that's what all right so all right. The proper, most important part is the gameplay, right? Yes. So it's one six scale. Obviously, the physics are quite a bit different from playing a full scale, you know, heavy Let's look ball. Look at the ball game. really closely. So, like, what, are you, what is the ball made out of? So this to know. is like kind of like a metal ball that has okay. a coating on the outside. Okay. We're still playing around with the weight of it to try to give it a good feel. Again, mm -hmm. this is the first prototype, so. Yeah. Looks good, feels good, but we we're testing it here. That's why yeah. we brought it out so we can get people to play, get yeah. some feedback. Yeah, absolutely. You know, make sure that, you know, it's a fun experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, our products, obviously, they have to be fun mm -hmm. and they have to look great. So yeah. that's kind of the two things we try to hit. And yeah. uh, so we built it so we could see if it was fun. And so uh, works really with the um, the, the digital the counter scoreboard, in the back, right? yep, the scoreboard? for sure. Right. So in a proper game of skee ball, you get nine balls. Yep. Uh, so nine would roll down out of here, mm -hmm. and then you shoot them up into the game area, and you can see there's different scores for it. I mean, you've played ski ball before. Yep. This is how it works, right? So now down here, there's a gutter. If the ball goes down there, it actually does not count as a ball. Mm -hmm. So it would, in the original ski ball, this would go down, and it would be, yeah. you know, your ball would be gone. Yeah. And so this, this is one's still a little forgiving yeah. prototype. <laughs> but yeah, right, so ahead. all right. Give us a roll. Well, I'm going to see if we can. Yeah. Right. Oh, you got a 30 already. All, right. all, right. all right. There's 40. All right. Very good. Nice. Uh, I see your dart uh, throwing is very similar yes, to your right, uh, yes. ski ball throwing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm great. Again, we keep bringing this I'm up. Kidding. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, 70. All right, so you're saying right now, so there normally would be something that would register that ball going so down the gutter. Down here right. in the gutter would be no points. I right? see no points. But this is so this 10 refers to this, to this hole, one right here. 20, 20 30, 30, 40, 40 50, and, and then, then the hundreds. The hundred is it, have you gone to the hundreds with this version of the game? Like, have you ever hit it? Once. Once. Incredibly by accident. All right. So. <laughs> It's, All right. it's challenging. It There's is challenging, no question. yes. Okay, so it can be done. So, I mean, let me know what you would think is the best technique to do a 1-6 version of ski ball. Sometimes when I play real ski ball, I'm trying to do a bank shot. Have you ever pulled off a bank shot? Yeah, like the bank up yeah. into the corner. Uh -huh. Prototype. I, yeah. Sometimes the ball has gotten stuck in a I little see. crevice above it because there's too much space yeah. up above it. So yeah, like real netting adjusting. right here, too, and everything, which yeah. is really fun. But here we go. All right, All right here, here we go. go. We're going to try it. Oh. All right, bank up. All right. <laughs> Not bad. You have some pretty All good right, technique so there. All right, you scored nine. One, all right, you scored one ten right now, and this light dust beacon goes 
on once you All get right. to 150, so right? So let's, right. let's cheat so you right. can see the beacon go off. All right, we're going to cheat it. Really, <laughs> it's really fun. All right, here we go. Right, here we go. He's, we're going to cheat it in there. Oh, we're going to get it. Oh, 50. Good oh, job. wait, no, oh, it didn't even register. Didn't register. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's on. Oh, right. my God. Okay, all right. All right this on. is still a prototype. Don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. We're going to be getting it in. Oh, right. oh, you know what? All right, I'm being oh, really dumb. Whoops. Because you didn't start the game. I didn't start the game. Oh, start the game. There it is. All right. So there's 50. So you know what else is cool? Yeah. The sound effect for each of the scores is different. Is it? So you each get kind of a different? bigger fanfare when oh, you get. Nice. So listen, all right, let's nice. hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. Here we go. Let's see if we can, let me all get right, the so mic a little bit closer. All right, here's a 10. Okay. A doink. doink. Not much. Okay. A doot doot. Doot doot. Oh, what'd I do? I don't know if it's... And where's the speaker on this? Is it in the back? It's right in the back. Oh, it's on the back side. So now I've side. surpassed 150 and, and, then the, the, and the beacon has come on. Oh, nice. All right, and then 100. So nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's so cool. Anyway, there you Very go. Very cool. All right, well, the there it is. Are. The backside, just so we can see the backside of it right now. Yep. Uh, would it be the same right now that's... Um, oh, there's, are there going to be speaker grills, or is it just coming out the backside? Actually, it's, it's, it's on the bottom. bottom. Right okay. down here. Okay. So we'll either put a speaker on the back or yeah. mount it on the bottom down here. Yeah, and that would be then, like then my only feedback is like I, I can oh. hear it, but like you'd, yeah. you'd want to be able to it's like not as, it's definitely it's a hear muffled. it out. Let's just for fun. I want to yeah. see. He's curious to see. There it is. All right, there it is right there. <laughs> he was curious. It's too small. Yeah. All right. Well, this is super cool, Peter. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. I don't think I, people thought this was gonna be the next direction, but are you guys looking at other products like this, just other amusement type things? I mean, if it's successful, we'll continue to look at other things. I like yeah. physical games. Yeah. I played more physical games than I did arcade games. Honestly, mm -hmm. for yeah. me, I'm older. <laughs> yeah. So I enjoy these a lot. So I think that, you know. I think it works perfectly in the lineup. Yeah. It'd be really cool. So well, awesome. yeah, we'll explore more. All right. Well, if this uh, is successful as your dart comes, kidding. <laughs> no, that's it. No, I just had a really great one time hanging out. Last one last thing. time. We'll play again right now. You and me versus Ski Ball. Let's see right, what we can do. All right. I'm ready. Thank you so much. Uh, thank all right, you. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. See you. One other quick thing I wanted to just show off was the radness line of BMX bikes in 1.6 scale here. So this is cool. They're branching off into other things, not the figures, but the bikes themselves. So check out these two different mongoose bikes. I think these are really rad and cool. I just wanted to show those off as well. So check out New Wave Toys online.